Hey everyone, this is Kerry Anderson. Hope you all doing well. In today's video, I'll be talking about uh, growth and your four to five year old child. So, if you like the video related to Total Health, I would like to request you all please do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, and give thumbs up so that I will come with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin. Let's go. The growth and your uh, kid, four to five year old. So let's talk about this kids at this age are still very physical but they learn in a more focused and less hectic way than um, when they were younger these kids typically gain about four to five pounds two kg and uh, grow about two to three inches five to eight centimeters per year an average four year old weighs about uh, 40 pounds and is about 40 inches tall Preschoolers uh, are still developing and refining their gross motor skills using their arms and legs to move and play, as well as uh, their fine motor skills working on art and craft and puzzles. By this age, kids can usually hop on one foot and are learning to skip. Play becomes increasingly imaginative and is an important part of kids' growth and development now. So it's important to make sure they have time for creative play, alone and with friends. Whether that means drawing pictures, playing house, or acting a part. Although kids uh, come in all shapes and size, a healthy child should continue to grow at a regular pace to monitor physical development. The doctor will weigh and measure your child at regular checkups. Then plot the result on a sample growth chart to follow you over time and compare with the that of other kids the same age and gender now helping your child grow normal growth aided by good nutrition plenty of sleep and regular exercise is one of the best overall indicators of a child good health but your child growth pattern is largely determined by genetics wishing kids to eat extra food or more than the recommended amount of vitamins minerals and other nutrients will not uh, make them taller and eating too much uh, may lead to excessive weight gain. Preschoolers can be picky eaters, but it's important to continue to offer a variety of foods. So also preschoolers should get at least 60 minutes of physical activity each day. Kids at this age are naturally active, so we encourage the activity and provide a safe environment for exploration. There is a wide range of normal height and weight. Shorter parents, for instance, tend to have shorter kids, whereas taller parents tend to have taller kids. You may worry if your child is not um, as tall as his or her peers, uh, but the most important question is whether you, your, uh, your child, is continuing to grow at normal rate. If for instance, your child growth rate had been normal but has recently slowed. The doctor may track growth over a few months to see if this is a possible health problem or just a variation of normal. You may be concerned that your child is too small. Most kids who are very short at uh, or below the fifth percentile of the on the growth chart are usually following one of two normal variant growth patterns. The first one, familial genetic shorts. Uh, stature. This is when kids inherit genes for short stature but grow at a normal rate, enter puberty at an average age and reach a final adult height similar to that um, of their parents. Then it comes to the second part, constitutional growth delay. This is when kids grow at a normal rate but are smaller than their peers, enter puberty later and continue growing after the peers have uh, stopped thus usually reaching a normal adult height that's all about the fitness in this body in this video so that's all i'll definitely come in the next video with my another content till then god bless you bye bye and take care